for always joining me every Friday live. It's always been a really fun time. And uh, it's just nice knowing that every Friday, 9.30, we got a class going. So um, for those that have been here for a long time, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but hopefully we can continue these um, in the future. So just uh, just uh, voice your um, voice your um, wants and needs. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna get started. Uh, pick whatever music you want for your own background um, and uh, let's just jam right into it. I'm excited. So DJ, I'm gonna get my music set up here. And then let's start. Uh, oh, let me get my this. Guys, so make sure you have some space. Pin my video. Great. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can never see me. So we're going to start in a wide plie stance. You can open, actually that's a lie. We're not going to start in a plie stance. <laughs> so standing nice and tall, have your hands on your hips. We're going to drive one knee at a time up into the sky. So shoulders are relaxed. I just want you to drive one knee up into the ceiling and then point your foot one and two, one and two. So it's almost like a little pointed foot as you drive the knee up into the sky. Hands are by your side body. And then just think about a tall spine. So you're lifting through the crown of your head into the sky. Good, one and two, one and two. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Take those arms in the sky, continue with the knees. Can we pull one arm down, down and down? One and two. Pull, 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 pull. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both arms down down one and two one and two good so if this is too fast definitely feel free to go slower that's a-okay eight seven six five four can we add a rotation we'll go a little bit slower here opposite elbow twist opposite elbow twist pull extend pull now open so twist 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 Tempo if you can. One, two, one, two. Engaging your core, driving it high. Eight, seven, twist. Six, five, and four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Take those arms. And legs really wide. So toes and knees to the corners of the room. Have a soft bend in your knees. We're going to hold your legs. Just those arms float up and down. Up and down. So we go reach it high, open wide. Lift and lower. So we're warming the upper body. So have your legs wide and low. Nice. Take it. Inhale. Exhale, up and down. Reach it high and low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms up. Let's take the legs down and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, so think long spine, relaxing that chin a little bit, you're sliding down a wall. And those arms should be burning just by holding them in the sky. Nice. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, hold the legs, arms, just float them up and down, up and down. For four, for three, two, one, good. Hands on the hips, pulsing plie. So we go down, up, down, up, down, up. And remember this move because we're going to repeat this towards the end of class and your thighs are going to be burning. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the arms up with the legs, scoop it down, sweep in front, scoop it down, tempo, combine everything together. Up and down, in front and open. Nice, lift, lift and lower, lift and lower. Eight more, eight, seven, think nice and big, six, like you're scooping something and raising it over your head, four, three, two, one, and hold the arms out wide. Hold, we reach side to side. So we want to focus on that lateral reach, working your obliques. One, two, one, two. Think isolation. Eight, seven, six. Are you nice and low? And that's plie. Four, three, two, one. Hold it center. Take your left hand, reach it, and lower. Now with the arm, I want you to do a little side reach, back to center, side reach, back to center, side reach. Guys, so we're just gonna open up and center, open up and center, reach, reach. Four more, four, three, two, other side, just the arm to start. Good. All right, can we add that lateral flexion? Reach it over, high and center, up and over, up and over. Eight more, eight, stay low, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms, pulse the legs, rotate your palms up and down, up and down. This is more of an arm workout right now than legs, I tell ya. <laughs> Your arms are strong. Palms up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and float, rise up to stand. Great, we're gonna go into some squats. So toes and knees are forward, soft bend the knees. Let's just take those arms, float them as you sit into the squat. Down and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Down and up, down and up. Perfect, so really emphasize the weight into your heels as you take a seat. Full range, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three, pulse at the bottom, three, two, one, rise up, three, two, one, press the hips forward, three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, let's go back to singles. Down, up, lift, lower. Good, keep that chest small. In four, then three, and two. Hold your squat. Float those arms, low and high. Inhale, exhale. So from the side, you're in that low squat. You reach those arms down, up, down, up. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, reach up, three, reach up, two, one, and rise up to stand. My twist, so you can go into a lunge position, or you can face forward. I'm just gonna so you can see my leg. Take your left foot, tap it back. Full range of lunge, down and up. Inhale, exhale. So we hover that back knee, low and high. Down, up. Lunge, down, up. So when we do this, you're balancing on your back toe. All the weight is in that front heel and it's firing up, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's pulse, inch by inch. Down, up, down, up, one, two, Shoulders relax from ears. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, hold. Hinging with your hips. Great, everyone lift your back leg up, tap the floor, lift, tap the floor. Now if you need to hold on to something, you can, or just hands on the hips. The goal here is to create a long line from your head to your back toe. Make sure your front leg is softly bent, your back leg that's lifting is straight. Exhale, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, into, come back into that lunge, reach your arms in front. One arm goes back, one arm forward, we switch. One, two, one, two, and think about pulling those hands. Someone's reaching in front and behind. Exhale, inhale, lengthening those arms. Stay low in that lunge. Eight, the legs are shaking. Seven, mine are. Six, five, and four, and three, and two, one, stand up. Woo! All right, let's rotate other side. So whatever leg you did not use, we lunge it back. That's gonna be my right foot. Full lunge, here we go. And up, low and high. Good, guys. It's only been like 10 minutes and I'm already breaking a sweat. <laughs> Down and up, low, high, low and high. Inhale, exhale. Down and up, down and up, low and high. And I feel like I have a newfound appreciation for bar. So I kind of injured my knee a little bit over running. Nothing too crazy, just like didn't feel so nice, my knee when running. So these past two weeks, I've just been doing a lot of Pilates and bar. And let me tell you, it's just doing wonders for the body. <laughs> Down, it feels so good. So what we're doing today is great. Let's pulse. Down, down. You don't have to always kind of do so much cardio and jumping around. This stuff really lengthens, it tones. It makes you feel leaner, more flexible. Eight, seven. So thank you for joining me in four, three, two, hold. Hinging with the hips, hands by your side. We lift up, tap the floor, lift and tap. So that back leg goes up and down. Exhale, inhale, good, up and down, lift and lower. Your shoulders are away from your ears. We lift that back leg high in the sky, exhale, up and down. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, tap it, toe, stay in that hinge, reach one arm in front, one arm back, we reach, we reach, one, two, switch, 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 and again, think about long spine, reach those arms, bend your front knee, can you get lower to the floor, engage your core, so you have that long spine, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rise up. Woo. Let's come back into your wide plie, toes and knees to the corners. Sit into that plie, arms out, calf raise with your left heel and left arm. Releve, flatten, releve, flatten. After this, we're going right into our upper body segment and a water break. So keep going here, heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down. Heel up, heel down. Four, three, two, switch. Right side, right heel, right arm. Releve, which is a fancy term for calf raise. Yeah, get on your toes. Lift. Every time you do a calf raise, you're strengthening your ankle support, your thighs, your balance. Good guys, eight more calf raises on the right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands here, we raise it up and down. Let's add the heels. Up, down, releve, flatten, releve, flatten, releve, flatten. Yes, eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, stay tall. Four, chest is proud. Three, two, one, hold the releve, hold the arms, float the arms in front of your chest. All right, now just hold this. Arms extended, that's pulse. Go down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch, down and up. Eight, up, seven, up, six, five. Stay on those toes in four, in three, two, one, and float down, rise up. All right, great. We're gonna grab your dumbbells, think one to five pounds, and meet me back here standing. So water, dumbbells, Towel off, I'm sweating already a lot. <laughs> so one to one, but one to five pounds. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> so once you got some water in you, you've got some space to breathe. So each hand has a dumbbell to start. Great guys. So standing tall, feet parallel hip distance. Both hands have your light weights. If you don't have weights, that's totally fine. You can do everything without. Soft in the knees, just a bicep curl up and down. Curl and lower. Curl and lower. So your elbows are to the side body. We bring it up to the top shoulder. Up and down. Up and down. Curl. Curl. So we focus on high, high repetition. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. All right, now we're just going to focus on the arms. Then I'll add some legs and arms together. Let's just power through these. Bicep curls, lift and lower. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring the palms facing you. Elbows are about halfway up, as seen right here. Good. Take one arm, extend, bring it in, take it out and in. In front, back in. In front, back in. 
So it's almost like you're kind of scooping up, back to center, scoop it up, lift, but try to keep those palms up and about 90 degrees. Reach out in front, reach out in front. Up and down, up and down. Give me two more. Can we do both arms right now, both arms? Out and in, out and in. Think about away, eight, seven, six, so good, five, and four, three, two, one, hold the weights out in front, hold it, just hold. Good, relax the shoulders, just hold those arms, it should be burning, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, float them down, open up for that wide plie, we're going back to some arms and legs, so palms facing me, sit into your plie, alternate right and left, press, but can you hold this plie as you reach one arm over, how low can you go in that plie position? And down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, both arms. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, really squeeze, three, squeeze, two, one, hold the elbow shoulder height, and this pulse the legs. So you're in this kind of scarecrow position. Roll the shoulders back. Are your elbows in alignment with your shoulders? So you can see they're side by side. Eight, seven, six, and that burn. You want that fire burning. Four, so try not to stop. Three, when that fire overcomes. Two, that's when the change happens. Hold the arms, just hold the arms. Breathe. Four, three, two, one, float them down. All right, hold the arms down. Let's just go the legs, the left and lower. Give your arms a little breather. Down, up, down, up. Let's do a lateral raise, alternate right, left. So we go down, lift, switch, lift. So you're going out to the sides and slightly in front. Just make sure you have a soft bend in your elbows. And let me tell you, if you don't have weights, this just works just as much. You can feel your muscles fatiguing, which is what we want. Down, up, down, up, low, high, low, high, four, three, two, one. Now hold the legs. We take those arms up in front of your chest. Hold, let's float them down. Float them up, float them down. Up, exhale, inhale down. Exhale up, Shh. inhale down, exhale up. Good, the hard part is when you wanna exhale, which is coming up because gravity assists us as we go down. So inhale down. Two, exhale up. Two, inhale down, down, exhale up. Give me four more, four, and lift. Three, and lift. Two, and lift. One, hold those arms. Take it, open, close, open, close, open, close. So we're pinching the shoulder blades. Out, in, out, in. Squeeze the back, squeeze the back. Give me eight, seven, 
six, five, one inch lower and up to the eight, four, three, two, one, and rise up to stand. Woo! I am sweating and my arms are feeling it. Standing tall, hammer press, or hammer, yeah, hammer press, <laughs> up, or hammer curl, I should say. So your dumbbells are coming to the top shoulder. It's not so much a bicep curl where your palms are up. Right now, my fingertips are facing each other. And you wanna be really narrow, so think tight. We're using this shoulder forearm, up and down. Think about all the way up, all the way down, all the way up and all the way down. Good. We still got like five minutes left in this arm series. <laughs> so pace yourself, pace yourself. Squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's hold the dumbbells halfway up. So back to that 90 degree that we kind of had earlier. Hold. Just your right arm goes down and up. Just the right arm. So I'm holding my left as my right goes up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. So our opposite arm goes all the way down up. My opposite arm that was working is now holding. Down, up, low, high. Inhale, squeeze. Inhale, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep that arm strong. Three, two, one, and both arms down. All right, bend your knees. Make sure they have a flat bend, hinging with the hips. Good. We row, squeeze up and down. Both arms are rowing high and low. Squeeze. Pinching your back muscles. Let the arms be heavy as we squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now we all hold the elbows high, this pulse. Up, down, up, down, one, two, one, two. Up, down, up, down, pinch, pinch, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, in four, in three, in two, in one, lower, rise, all the way back up. Open up for a wide plie stance. Toes and knees to the corners of the room again. Sit down into that plie. Rotate palms. Bicep curl. Up. Down. Curl. So holding this low plie, focus on that curl. Up. Down. Up. Down. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. We hold the elbows shoulder height. Palms are facing you, just the legs pulse. So your goal is to keep those elbows at shoulder height. Palms are facing you. Just move the legs. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold your legs. We open, out, in. Open, close. Good. So we're pinching, rotating our back with the arms and palms as we squeeze center. Squeeze the back. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold them wide here. Just the arms, very small. 
micro pulse. Mini, mini, one, two, one, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and float them down. Rise up to stand. Back to feet at distance. We're so close. Bend your knees, flat back hinge. Arms are so close to being done. Bring the arms high. We're doing a tricep. So I want you to extend up and down. Lift and lower. Now the key here is to make sure you have this flat back. So avoid looking like this. Really bend your knees and the hinge. So stick your booty up to the ceiling. Relax your chin and drive the arms up and down. Think how high can I keep my elbows towards the ceiling? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold the arms. Rotate the palms. All right, we pulse up, down, up, down, lift, lift, inch by inch. One, two, one, two, up, down, up, down, lift, lift. We're so close, guys. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Eight, seven, low count, six, one inch higher, five, four, this is how we finish, three, one inch higher, two, one, and slowly rise up, woo, all right, let's put these weights away, if you want to grab a chair for your leg series, totally can, if not, you can do everything standing, but if you want something to hold on, grab that for me right now. So we got our thighs and um, just our thighs pretty much for this segment. And then after this, we're all on the floor. Great. Perfect. So since you got water. Okay. So we have our chair here. If not, that's totally fine. We're gonna do three series of thigh work. Knees together, my toes turned out, and then a wide plie. We're gonna repeat these sequences. So if you wanna use a chair or a desk, you have one hand on, and try to put some stable pressure on it. If not, hands on your hips. Toes and knees, let's glue them together. So you're zipping it up like a zipper. Rise up on the balls of your feet, so you're back on your tippy toes. Great. Make sure those knees are together. Now, here's a good cue. I want you to pull your belly button up to the sky and draw your tailbone to the floor. So watch, we're going to tuck. So this is neutral. We want to pull the navel in. So have this tucked position. Think Michael Jackson. Tuck. Hey. So knees are glued together. You're on your tippy toes. You have your belly button tucked up to the sky. Relax the shoulders, hands on the chair or hands on your hips. We go down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. So think inch by inch, up, up. We go down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, good. And really challenge yourself on how high you can stay on the balls of your feet, which are your tippy toes. Up, up. Those knees, they're super glued together. Four more, down, down, up, up. Down, down, up. Two more. All right, let's go down and up. Down, up, down, up. Low, high. Low, high, down and up, down and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, let's go into your lowest position here. Make sure you're still tucking. Tiny pulse, pulse. Down, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, inch by inch. Are your thighs, your quads, your calf muscles firing up? Mine are shaking so much right now. Eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One stand, Whew. shake it off. All right, we're gonna go into a new sequence. Heels together, feet in a small V. So my toes are apart. Rise up on your tippy toes again. This time connect your heels and your knees are gonna flare out like a diamond. Hand on the chair, hands on hips. Back to that tuck. So pull the belly button up, tailbone down. We go same thing, go down for two, up for two. Down, down, up, up, down, down. And if you want to make this more challenging, think about going lower more than coming up. So when you rise up, it's not so much. When you go down, you're trying to get as low to the floor. And we're engaging, right, this muscle, our quads, our inner thigh, right here. Down, down, up, up, down down, just make sure that your heels are connected. Four more, four, up, up, down. I love this move. I just think it makes such nice lines on your legs. It really just tightens and sculpts your lower body. Two more. People are gonna be asking questions. <laughs> Your legs, what did you do? They look so good. One more. All right, let's go just down and up, down and up. So it's down, up, down, up an inch, down, up an inch, down, up an inch. Low and high, down and up, down and up. Any more. And imagine you're between two planes of glass. So try not to lean forward. Oh, four more, four more. Three, I'm shaking. Two, let's pulse at the bottom. Pulse, pulse, down, down. One and two and one and two and one and two. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and stand. Woo! All right. We don't need a chair for this next one. Open up back to your wide plie stance. Hands on those hips, just like the warm up. We go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So slide down your wall. Lift, lift. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Four. This one feels so much better <laughs> than the other ones. Down, down, up, up. One more. All right, now just down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Think full range, low, high. But this one really gets those inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's pulse at the bottom. Pulse. Down, up, down, up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. Hold your low stance. Just hold it. Hold it. So as I have you holding here, what we're going to do next, yes, I'm talking you through this as we hold. <laughs> we're going to go back into that three sequences. So we're going to go back to your toes and knees together, back into that V stance, and back in this position, just for a little bit of a shorter period of time. So less time, but you're going to feel that burn. In three, two, one, let's rise up. All right, grab that chair again. We restart. It's going to go a little bit quicker, though. 
knees and toes, glue them together. Pull the navel in, so we tuck. Rise up on the balls of your feet. Make sure the knees are glued, shoulders down. We go right away into that down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Four. Three, round two, you can do it, two. Okay, let's go down and up. Down, up, down, up. Try to stay low, guys. Try to stay lower than higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pulse at the bottom, let's go. Down, down, one, two. Now, if you want to get crazy, reach those arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. All right. Second set. I told you they're short. Heels together, toes apart, feet in that small V. Rise up, reconnect the heels. Knees are flaring out. Pull the navel in. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, up. Good. See this diamond shape I'm making with my legs? Try to make that too. All right, just down, up, down, up, down, up. Low, high, low, and high. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's pulse. Go down, down. One, two, all right, if you can, maybe one hand or both. Eight, seven, six, five, four, you got this. Three, two, one, rise. All right, last one, wide sumo or wide plie stance. It's also sumo squat for you fitness people. Toes turned out, hands on the hips. Here we go, we go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So I'm going to give you an option right away. You can lift your heels and do this all on the balls of your feet. If not, keep your heels down. Four, and up, up. Three. So it's great about this video. You can come back to it and do this all with your heels down or heels up. Progression. Here we go. Down, up. Down, up, down, up, low, high, low, high, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's pulse, go. All right, can we take those arms up as we pulse? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down, rise, Woo. Let's go do a little stretch here if you need that chair, I'll give you quad release. We did a lot of quad and thigh work. So relax those shoulders, bring that knee behind you, stand tall, really pull. Great work, great work. So after this, everything's on the mat. Switch, other leg. And you're probably waiting for that. You're like, when are we going on the floor? <laughs> so we're going to do some more legs and then we're going to finish with a nice long ad set. Four, three, two, one. If you have it, that chair, if not, you can use the floor. One foot on top, soft bend in that foot on the bottom, and just hinge forward. This can be done on the floor, just like that. Lots of options. The chair just gives a little bit of a deeper stretch. Yeah. And let's rise, other leg, switch. Really hinge forward. Think about getting that toe to the sky. And like I said, this is a great low impact Workout, total body, you can do it anywhere. Three, 
two, one. All right, guys, I'll meet you down onto the mat. Get some water, and I'll see you down there. Yeah, so give yourself about like a minute, 60 seconds. Let me get my screen adjusted. Good. Okay, so just this. Okay, guys. So we're actually going to start on our hands and knees. So we made it to the mat. We're going to take our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. In this position, I want you to pull your navel in, think long spine, and push your arms away from the mat. So your chest is lifted. Everyone take your left knee into the sky. Now, we're going to hold this position. Make sure your hips are to the mat. I want you to point and flex. Point and flex your left foot. So point, flex. That's all we're going to do. So the goal here is to hold that knee in the sky and just alternate a pointed and flexed foot. Now, if your wrist hurts, you can always go on your forearms at any point. And if you need to double fold your mat, double fold it. Point and flex, point and flex. Eight, seven, six, Five, you should feel a little burn in four, three, two. All right, now with the pointed left foot, let's pulse, pulse, pulse. Up, down, up, down, inch by inch. Lift, lift. Up, down, up, down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One and two and lift, lift. Think inch by inch. One, two. One, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in the sky. Come onto your forms. All right, we're going back into that flex foot. Flex, point, flex, point. This is such a small thing that we're doing, but big results. Flex and point. Flex and point. And in terms of your lower body, I just want you to think a tabletop position. My shoulders are underneath my elbows. And my left hip is down more towards the floor. So I could serve dinner on your back. Eight. Point. Seven. Point. Flex. Point. Four more. Four. Three. Two. All right, guys, point that toe and pulse again. Pulse, pulse, up, up, exhale, inhale, one and two and lift, lift. So good. Can you give me eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On your knees, child's pose. Woo! Who would have thought just by pointing and flexing that foot? <laughs> All right, let's stay on our forearms. I would love for you to come into a full plank. So elbows under shoulders, lengthen. Let's hold this plank. To modify, go on your knees at any point. Hold. So a static plank. Let's get that core really fired up. Level your hips down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. All right, guys, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. 
Pull that navel in, long spine. It's now my right foot that lifts, point your right toe. Good, we just flex and point. Flex, point, flex, point. So exact same sequence. Think about pushing your arms away from the floor so you're not sinking in. So I'm not drooping down. So if you take a look at me now, I'm not drooping with my shoulders. I'm really pushing away. So in order to, I got to use that core. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Good. And it's always a little bit more challenging the second side. So stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and point the foot. Let's pulse. We have 10 minutes left. That's it, just 10 minutes. Up, up, up. And that includes cool down. So we're at the end is so close. So be big, be bold, and see how big you can lift because you are strong. Inch by inch, up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it on the forearms. Make sure elbows are under shoulders. We continue. Flex, point. Flex the foot, point. Flex, point. Flex, point. So good. Flex, point. Flex, point. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's point it and let's lift. Here we go, inch by inch. One and two, lifting one and two, lifting up, down, up, down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, think higher and highest, higher and highest, one, two, one, two. This is it for the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Higher three and two, one child's pose. Woo! Big, big stretch of those arms. Very good. Okay, guys, let's come on to our sit bones. Finally, we're on our mat, on our back. Let's have our feet on the floor. Good. But don't you worry, we did a lot of core work. All that standing stuff was abs. So feet on the floor, fingertips fine. Give me just a curl. Up and down. Leading with the chest. Curl. Up and down. Lift, lower. Lift and lower. So keep those elbows high. We're just going to do like a three-minute ab set. And then we're done. So finish this with everything you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's take those legs up into the sky. Continue curling. Oh, and you can feel your hamstring muscles. Whew. Lift, lift. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take the heels together, thighs really wide, butterfly curl, up and down, lift and lower. So chest goes up an inch and down. Up an inch and down. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Curl it up and down. Up and down. High and low. 
high and low. All right, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Knees to chest. This is your last set here. So roll up. Feet on the floor. Take those arms and then have them right underneath your hamstrings. Elbows can flare out a little bit. I want you to lean back an inch, open up the chest. We rock up an inch and down. Lift an inch and lower. Up and down. Up and down. So we just lift an inch. Lift an inch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Now find your lowest position hold. Arms in front if you can. So we finish holding this kind of stance, this half boat. If you can, lift your feet in tabletop position. Woo! Breathe, breathe. Can you get one inch lower? Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and down. Oh, very good job. Kind of bring your hands into those knees and kind of just circle your knees. And reverse that direction. This always feels nice. Good, guys. All right, feet on the floor. Give you a nice big bridge. So just lift your heads, give a nice release. Stay with me here to stretch. It's always important to come down. Take one foot over that thigh. Lift that back heel and get that nice stretch. So this is a figure four release. Works your IT band, your glutes. And I just relax into the stretch. That was an intense workout. You did so good. And now we reap the rewards of a nice stretch. Let's switch, other side. Let that back heel and just breathe. Good guys. And it's always good to stretch. You've noticed this for five, 10 minutes a day. Really helps prevent injuries. Kind of calms your mind, your body. Sometimes you always are on the go, go, go. So definitely try to do yoga to complement. Knees together. Let's roll ourselves up. We'll just do a nice hamstring release. So flex those feet. Just reach those hands forward. And a nice big stretch. Nice, let's release this hit crisscross. Take your right hand, let's thread it through, and then sit tall, look in the opposite direction. I saw a hand release, stretch shoulder. And open up this switch. Other way. And then let's take your hands on your shins, Round the spine, look at your belly button. And then big exhale all the way up. All the way down. Big exhale up. Cross those elbows for three, two, one. And give yourself a huge round of applause. You did it, we did it. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining me. I uh, look forward. To, well, I'm like, well. This is well, this is our last class. So um, uh, for I'm not sure when we're on a little hiatus, but uh, definitely um, voice uh, what you want to see with this Zoom because I think it's great. Uh, I, I love. Uh, it's just something nice. Just to, it's just nice to have something scheduled. You know, every Friday I get to see you guys. So um, yeah, other than that. Um, 
There'll be tons of recordings that are available on the Holly Byrne website, so you can watch our old uh, workouts together. Um, but uh, as of now, um, there, there are no classes uh, for the month of May. So sad face, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll see you. Um, and hopefully with uh, new, the vaccines and everything, we'll uh, get to do some outdoor stuff in, in the future. So thank yeah. you, Zach. Thanks, Thank you, Doc. Yes. You really enjoy your classes. Oh, yeah. good. I know. I just, it was so nice to just, even before when it was like early, like June, like last summer, just like seeing you guys, you know, seeing a friendly face. So, uh, it's yeah. just, Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll miss it. It's been yeah. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, like, just, uh, yeah, I, I'll miss it as well. But I feel like, I just feel like they, people don't know about this enough. So I think just the, if more, more people know that we have these offerings, um, We'll, we'll probably be able to continue. So yeah, I hope so. Yeah, me too. Okay, we'll write to them. Yes, yes, yes. Please do. Yes. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, enjoy, and I hope to see you soon. This isn't Thank a goodbye. This is just a, a little, little, little uh, vacation. So. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank bye, guys. Bye.